All right, so I've collected the most important informations about the childhood brain tumors, and I've put them as bullets in this video. And I highly recommend that you pause the video whenever you need to and pay close attention so you don't miss anything. So first off, we have the pallocytic tumor, also known as low-grade astrocytoma. The most common site is the cerebellum, but it can be supratentorial, and that means above the tentorium, which is the layer that separates the cerebral hemisphere from the cerebellum. Usually they're benign with good prognosis, and under the light microscope, we're going to see residental fibers and corkscrew fibers. They can be stained with GFAB stain. Here you can see the pallocytic tumor in the posterior fossa in the cerebellum. And here is the residental fibers. They're basically rod shaped isnophilic fibers. And here are the corkscrew fibers. Next, we have craniopharyngiomas. Craniopharyngiomas can calcify, which is very important to know. And they're usually confused with pituitary adenomas because they're both caused by temporal hemianopia. Craniopharyngiomas' origin is Rathk pouch. And usually they contain clostral crystals which present motor oil like material, which is also very important to know. Here is how the motor oil like material looks like under the microscope. You should really be able to recognize this, it's very important. Next we have ependymomas. Usually they arise from the fourth ventricle and they can cause hydrocephalus. They have very poor prognosis. And under the, mic the light microscope we should be looking for perivascular rosettes and basal ciliary bodies, which are basically rod-shaped blepharoplasts near the nucleus. Here you can see the ependymoma arising from the fourth ventricle and compressing it. And here is the perivascular rosette. As you can see, there is a blood vessel in the middle and a rose-like shape arising around it. And here is the basal ciliary bodies. Next, we have medulloblastomas. Medulloblastomas can also compress the fourth ventricle and cause hydrocephalus. And usually, they have very poor prognosis as well. Medulloblastomas are highly characterized by drop metastasis to the spine, and we'll talk about it now. And under that microscope, you should be looking for homorite rosettes. Here's a picture showing drop metastasis to the spine. So basically, the tumor starts in the brain and suddenly appears in the spinal cord, in the middle of the spinal cord. So it appears as if the tumor had dropped from the brain to the spinal cord. This is highly characteristic of medulloblastoma. Here you can see the homorite rosettes. Finally, we have pineloma. Pineloma is a tumor arising from the pineal gland. Pineal gland, if you don't know what it is, it's this small gland right there. Pineloma can compress the cerebral aqueduct, causing hydrocephalus. And it can also compress the brainstem tectum, causing something we call Parinode syndrome, which we'll talk about it right now. Pinealomas also produce beta-HCG, which can cause early puberty in males. And under the light microscope, it's highly, highly similar to testicular seminomas. Here's a picture of pineloma. And here's a picture of Parinode syndrome, which is caused by pineloma compressing the brain stem tectum. So the patient would have something called vertical gaze. Whenever he looks up or down, his eyes will conjugate together. All right, guys, so that's everything about the most common childhood brain tumors. Um, I'll put the cream of the information that you need to know. So basically the most important and highly characteristic information about each tumor in this video. So you'd be able to recognize them if you see any of them in the exam, in the test. And before I go, um, now we have a new WhatsApp group for the study of USMLE. So basically we have almost about 40 members right now. And all are welcome. You can, you can join the group just by clicking on the link below and um, by using your mobile phone, obviously. And if you have any questions, you can ask in the group. We're going to motivate you. We're going to answer your questions. Hopefully, we're going to help you. And hopefully, this video will help you. And see you guys later.